Hello friends, welcome to all of you in Dr. Jackie's Academy. In my last video, we have studied about the Kenizara reaction. So in this in this video, we will study next reaction of the aldehyde is cross Kenizara reaction. So let's start. Cross Kenizara reaction is shown by the two different aldehyde which don't have a alpha hydrogen atoms. Next one, it takes place only in the presence of concentrated strong base sodium hydroxide similar to the Kenizawa reaction. And it is also an example of disproportionation reaction. So disproportionation reaction means in which aldehyde group, they are undergo oxidation as well as reduction. So in this case, we take the two different aldehyde. So one aldehyde undergo oxidation to produce carbo carboxylic acid and second aldehyde molecule undergo reduction to produce acid or alcohol, sorry. So which uh, aldehyde molecule form acid or which molecule form alcohol? So smaller aldehyde undergo oxidation to produce sodium salt of carboxylic acid and larger aldehyde molecule undergo reduction to produce alcohol. So the cross Kenizawa reaction in which we take the two different molecules of aldehyde. One is formaldehyde and benzaldehyde, second one. These two combines in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide solution to give rise to sodium formate and benzyl alcohol. This molecule is smaller molecule. So this uh, it reacts with sodium hydroxide to form it undergo oxidation to form the sodium formate and this one is larger molecule benzaldehyde they undergo the reduction to produce the benzyl alcohol. So sodium formate is an oxidized product of formaldehyde and benzyl alcohol is a reduced product of benzaldehyde. The next is the mechanism of cross Kenizawa reaction, sorry. So how does it actually take place? It takes place in a three step. Number one is the addition of base to the carbonyl group to form the anion. So here we have a base and it's wrapped with the first molecule of aldehyde which is formaldehyde. So as we know that base is negative charge, it means it acts as a nucleophile. So it has a tendency to attack on a positive site means positive charge site or electron deficient site. So in this carbonyl group, the carbon acts as an electron deficient site because in this case that oxygen is, has more electron withdrawing effect. So it withdraw the electron toward itself resulting carbon acquired positive charge. And nucleophile they attack on in this positively charged center to form tetrahedral anion. This reaction is fast reaction. The second step is the anion which is produced in a first step. They act as a hydride and it transfers the hydride to the carbonyl group of second molecule of aldehyde which is benzaldehyde to form again anion. So in this case we have an anion, tetrahedral anion that react with second molecule of aldehyde which is benzaldehyde. This anion, they transfer the hydride ion, this is H negative ion, to this carbonyl group. So, how does it actually take place? This anion, they transfer the hydride due to the presence of negative charge on this oxygen. The presence of negative charge, it facilitate the hydride ion to it, it facilitates the hydra, uh, loss of hydride ion from this anion. Actually, this negative charge, they are transferred to this one. And in this carbon makes a 5 bonding. This, uh, due to a migration, there is a formation of double bond. So, as a formation of double bond, there is, is, this carbon, they form a 5, 5 bond. So, to satisfy its valency, this carbon, they release the H negative ion. So H negative ion again acts as a nucleophile. So it, it has tendency to attack on a positive charge center. So in this carbonyl, the positive charge center is this carbon. Due to, again, this is oxygen has electron withdrawing effect. So it withdraws the electron toward itself. 
as a result this carbon acquire the positive charge and this hydride they attack in this positive charge center to form the carbon hydrogen sigma bond so due to the migration of the hydride ion from this one to this one it give rise to two product number one is that is a this anion and the second one is that is a formic acid so this is a second step where the transfer of hydride ion from anion to benzaldehyde this step is very slow step so ray determining step the second step is ray determining step in the third step the product which are produced in a second step they undergoes proton exchange to form the final product so we have a two product that are produced in a second step so there is a transfer of proton again from this acid to this anion so as a result we get a two product one is due to transfer of proton this is converted into benzyl alcohol and second one is that is sodium formate ion so this is a formate ion so because of this reaction take place in the presence of sodium hydroxide so sodium ion they are attached with this negative ion to form a sodium formate so these are the three steps of the cross canizar reaction how does it actually take place it take place in a three step number 1 2 and 3 so this is a cross canizar reaction thank you